What's up everyone, my name is Nicholas Parker. Welcome to my channel. I'm a part-time seller on eBay, Poshmark, and sometimes from Mercari. My channel focuses on my thrift hauls and stuff like that. So if you're interested in reselling at all and you want any information, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you a thrift haul on my latest trip to a uh, local Goodwill. So the first item that we got here is it's my first time picking up this brand i've never found it and i hit like the holy mother girl of it at this goodwill so it's a men's just basic um large vince that's the tag it's just a like a burgundy striped shirt it was one dollar day so i got that for a dollar um the next thing that i got is a zara man um long sleeve blue kind of just a crew neck shirt it's just a basic shirt that's also a size that was a size medium um i've never picked up tommy bahama so i figured i'd give it a try and this was only a dollar because my goodwill was having a dollar sale on this color it's just a blue basic polo it's a size large and it has the little tommy bahama logo there um this next thing is a Fabletics, size medium, women's, kind of a cow neck, um, workout hoodie. It has a hood. Um, it's in great condition. Um, I pick up Fabletics if I can get it at a good cost. And that was only $4. So I'll be able to make some profit on that. Uh, the next shirt is an Express. It was also only a dollar. It's just a kind of a short sleeve and it has like a black detail at the bottom. That's a size medium it's a woman's shirt um i forget exactly what this brand's called but i picked it up before it has the little moon logo i cannot think of the name right now but anyways it's a size medium it's just a short sleeve shirt um i picked that brand up once it's still sitting in my closet but i figured i'd give it another try um the next thing that i picked up is actually a Lacoste, just a button-up shirt. It was only $2, and this brand normally does pretty well. It's a size 38, and it's just a navy blue. I'm not sure if it's women's or men's, but I'll look that up before I post it. The next piece I got is another Tommy Bahama. This one's a men's sweater. It's just red. It's in good condition. Um, and this one is a size extra, extra large, so this will do well. Um, on eBay probably, but I'll list it on Poshmark as well. I cross list all of my items by using Vendu. So if you don't know what that is, I'll put a link in the description below. And I post everything on Poshmark first and then I import it on Vendu and cross list it to eBay and sometimes Mercari. The only things that I put on Mercari though are athletic brands like Lululemon, Nike, Adidas, anything like that because I feel like those brands do best on Macari for me. I don't really get any interest in like anything but athletic basically. This next piece, I went to Ross because I heard about the good sales. I didn't really find anything, but I did find this Nike shirt that retailed for $75. I got it for $7. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna, if, if this doesn't sell, I'll honestly wear it. Now it's backwards or upside down. I'm not sure if this is how it was supposed to be, but I'm definitely gonna look that up because I don't know if that's right, but that's size large and that'll fit me. Um, the next thing that I got, I've never heard of this brand. It's called Mizzen Main. I think I've heard of it before, but I've never seen it or picked it up, but I was unsure about the brand. So I Googled it and I was pleasantly surprised. There were a lot of high eBay comps around $40 for used shirts. And this one is just in great condition. It's just a men's basic plaid. Um, short sleeve button up. This will be great for uh, the spring and the summer. It's a size I don't know what size it is I'm not sure on the exact size the tag must be hiding But yeah overall it's in oh it's in a size medium So it's in great condition and the material is very nice. That's why I grabbed it in the first place the next one that I got is another Lacoste. I hit, there was so much Lacoste and I barely ever find it honestly, but I was really happy. 
I think this might be a kid size. I have to look it up. I'm not sure how their sizing works, but it's just a polo. I'm going to say it's a men's piece. Uh, another Lacoste, just a button up. This one's in great condition as well. It's a size eight, which I think is a bigger size it looks like. So I'm sure this one will do great on eBay or Poshmark as well. Then I got this women's um, kind of a flannel button up. It's by the brand Billabong. This is a, like a beach brand and it's a size large. I picked this brand up a few times. None of it sold yet, but I just picked it up like a few weeks ago and been finding it. So I'm sure that these pieces will do great around this time. The next piece I got is another Lacoste. This one was such a very, very, very pleasant surprise. This is a new with tags women's Lacoste button up shirt. The original price on this is $89.50. So I'm expecting to get maybe $35 or $40 at the most. I'm going to list it at $40 probably and accept offers. But this is just in a great condition. And it's just crazy that this was new with tags for $90 at Goodwill. The next thing I got, I found Vince again. Um, I'm not sure if this is women's or men's. It was in the men's. I'm gonna say it is men's, but it's just a like a quarter button down um, Size large The other shirt was also a size large. So I'm guessing it came from the same person um, The next thing I found was this Tory Burch um, Kind of sleeveless blouse. It was in great condition. I've never found this brand Tory Burch. I know it's a good one I'm not sure about their shirts. I know their shoes do well, but it's a size small so I was happy about this one and it was also only a dollar. So it was a good surprise. This one is an American Eagle, um, kind of like a quarter button zip pullover for men's. The only reason I got this is because right before I went into the thrift, the same exact thing sold just in a different style. So I was like, hey, it's only a dollar. I'll pick it up because I know that it sold before. Um, the next thing that I got is pins and needles. I think they sell this at um, Urban Outfitters. It's just this cream sheer blouse. It's in size medium. That's what the tag looks like. So that was in great condition. Um, I found this cloth and stones um, button up blouse. It's a size medium and on the back it also has buttons. I thought that was very interesting. So I went ahead and picked this up. Um, this one I'm about, I might keep for myself. It's a Zara Man um, hoodie sweatshirt. It's in a size medium. I like basic stuff like this and it is my size. So I might be keeping it, but I also know that that will sell well on Poshmark. I normally don't hit up the tank top owls, but this time I was feeling risky. I was like, maybe I'll find some Lululemon. I didn't find any of that. But I did find an anthropology top, and this is actually really cute. It has great detailing on there, and it's by the brand Vanessa Virginia, and it's a size medium. That's what the tag looks like. So this was a good surprise. It has the zip on the back. The next thing I found was also in the tank top owl, and it's by the brand Moth. I've never found this brand. I was excited that I did. It's just a basic red shirt and it is a size medium. That's what the tag looks like. That's in good condition. Uh, the next thing that I found is another Lacoste piece. It's a size four. I'm not sure if this one's kids as well. It is seemed to be smaller, but it's just a basic um, polo. Then I found this Calia by Carrie Underwood. This brand does very well for me. It's just a pink athletic shirt. There were some stains. I went ahead and got my Tide stick and dabbed out the stains and they all came out. I'm gonna uh, say in the description that it was stain treated, but basically everything came out. So that's in great condition. That's a size medium. I found another men's Vince piece. It had to have been from the same person now that I'm thinking about this. It's also a size large. It's just a pullover. I mean a polo, um, gray and blue. Um, that's also in great condition. Everything that I found had like no stains basically besides that. Then I found this J Crew. Um, I'm not sure. This is a J Crew factory. 
but it's new with tags and it was only a dollar so I figured I'd pick it up it retailed for $54.50 and it is a size medium it's just a great basic shirt kind of like a thermal almost like it would keep you warm um, then I normally don't go through the jeans just because I hate looking through the pants and the jeans at my Goodwill are like $7.99 I want to say for all of them and then they mark up some so when I go to the bins I pick up jeans but it was since it was 99 cent day on the on certain colors I picked up these American Eagle jeans they're basically brand new they're women's um, skinny size 6 they literally look like they've never been worn and their skinny jeans do normally sell for around $25, $20. And it's a fast flip. So I got that. And then I picked up this. I have no idea what it is. I just looked up the brand and the brand seemed very good. I've never even heard of it. It's called HD in Paris. And it was in the tank top out as well. So this could be an epic fail. I know it's not the cutest in my opinion. But you never know. There's the clothing. People like everything. So... I'm gonna try that out on eBay. I'm not sure how well it would do on Poshmark. And then I found these Vince Camuto shoes. They're just flats. And I don't really normally pick up shoes just because I don't know much about them, but I did look up comps on these and they were selling for about $25, $30. And they're in great condition. The soles are very good. I mean, the bottoms. Um, so yeah, I got these and they're a size. I think they're five and a half. Yep, five and a half. Um, and then, oh, this was a sad one. This one I got the other day, actually, and it's just a Nike sweater, sweatshirt. I normally pick these up if I can get them at a good price. This one was only $2, so I knew that I could get $25 out of it, but sadly, I didn't inspect the item good enough, and there are stains along the armpits. I'm gonna wash it and stain treat it to see if that will get it out and if so then i'll be able to get that and then i normally stay away from the bags because i don't know much about bags but i went to this salvation army a few days ago and i went through the bags and i found this bag and it is just a, such a cute like boho beach bag i might keep this for when i go to the beach but if not i'm going to list it on poshmark it's so cute and i think this will do really well over there and it's um, not a name brand or anything, but I just thought it was really good for like the beach season coming up And then I found this Jan Sport backpack. It was only like two dollars So I picked it up. It's in great condition as well. No stains or anything like that And that's all I have for this thrift haul. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up Please subscribe to me You can follow my Instagram at Parker shops and my Poshmark and eBay store are linked down in the description below Make sure you follow me and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day